are at Blossom Du Jour, and today we are giving you new reasons to become a vegetarian. So a lot of people think about vegetarianism and they say, it's not for me. Are there items that you think people are already consuming that they can add to their diet to sort of enhance their vegetarianism? Well, there's quinoa, which has become like one of the, the bigger items, it's just like kale. Um, it's a complete protein. It's a seed and it acts like a grain. Um, there's also hemp seeds and hemp oil that kind of add a nutty flavor, and it's an omega powerhouse um, in protein. And what about meat replacements? For those people who just say, like, I have to have bacon, and a few years ago they may have tried, you know, bacon replacements and said, oh, I don't like this. Are there newer right. products that are coming on the market that maybe could make a believer out of meat lovers? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've seen drastic improvements in specifically the meat area. Well, there's a few in bacon specifically. There's yeah. a new product in the last year and it's called coconut bacon. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pieces, like shreds of coconut that have been, I think, baked, although maybe the process is a secret. And it's been seasoned in such a way that you bite into it, it's crunchy and it tastes like bacon. And let's also talk about different diets because, I mean, I think there's flexitarianism, there's vegan, vegetarianism, and can you explain maybe some of the differences, and especially I think the flexitarian diet has gotten a lot of attention because it's maybe focusing on the benefits of vegetarianism without feeling like you have to give up fully. Right. Um, well, the flexitarian side of it is, is exactly that. You're not limiting yourself in any way. You're just improving what it is that you're consuming. So, you know, you've heard of Meatless Mondays, perhaps. Um, that's a way of, like, you know, introducing a plant-based uh, food into your everyday you know, existence. So flexitarianism takes it a little step further. So rather than having like one day out of, of the week where you're eating plant-based, you're maybe doing it six days out of the week or you know. Are you doing meatless till six? And so for people interested in learning more about vegetarianism and getting a bit more of a perspective, when can they go to your festival? Well, this year it's on March 1st and 2nd, and you can find out more about the festival at www.nycvegfoodfest.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for illuminating vegetarianism for a few of us that needed a bit of an education. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime.